Hi there, Pisces, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of February the 7th through to the 13th. I went ahead, shuffled cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Pisces. First up, we have the Two of Wands in the upright, followed then by the Ace of Wands upright. Next, we have the Seven of Cups in the upright, followed then by the Nine of Swords reversed. And lastly, we have the Two of Swords in the reverse position so for your overall energy Pisces you have the two of wands in the upright position here we go again one foot in the past one foot in the future you are planning something Pisces don't tell me you're not because I know you are you have your sight set on something some of you maybe are contemplating a move you could be contemplating moving somewhere uh, maybe you're trying you're not trying to but maybe you want to move uh, you're looking into it could be wanting to move to a new city, new town. Um, maybe you want to get started or get moving and, you know, lay some roots somewhere. Uh, you're really, really sort of in that in-between phase where, you know, we're almost at Pisces season. Perhaps that's what you're waiting for. Um, that's that's my guess. <laughs> We're going to be moving into Pisces season pretty soon. And perhaps that's when you guys will really, really get your groove on. But Pisces, you know, here you are with that one foot in the past, one foot in the future, focused in on where you're going. I have a feeling some of you are not really telling anybody what your plans are. Maybe you're keeping them to yourself. And that's okay. That's fine. Sometimes that's a, that's a good idea to keep that to yourself. And maybe you got your sight set on something. I feel that you do. It's either a new career, a new home, a new move somewhere. Something's going on here. And at the beginning of the week, we have the Ace of Wands in the upright position. Maybe that's what you're waiting for. You're waiting for that other wand to get moving. This is good news for you guys. Aces always usher in some kind of new beginning. And it could be new beginnings in some moving some, somewhere, moving forward in something. This is action. Remember, wands represent action and progression. So this is about you guys. Maybe there's an opportunity that comes out of the anti-cosmos for you, Pisces, and you're ready to take it and grab it and go with it. Um, others of you, this, you know, this new opportunity could be an opportunity to travel. Again, wands do govern travel. Um, it could be that you have this option or this opportunity coming in for you for that. Others of you, this could be a passionate new relationship or potential relationship coming in. Maybe you are ready to leave, you know, let bygones be bygones and walk away from old relationships that didn't work out. And you're ready to move on because something or someone has caught your eye and is bringing passion into your energy field. <laughs> could be a passionate new relationship for some of you. Others of you, it's just a passionate new idea. It's a passionate new opportunity to follow your desires, your passion, whether it be anything from art to music to <clears throat> business, whatever it is that, you know, that, that brings out that great passion in you. Hmm. Next card we have is this, I'm sorry for laughing, but this seven of cups in the upright position. Uh, I, I swear half of the uh, astrology signs got this card and you're no exception, Pisces. Seven of cups in the upright position. There must be a lot of options or opportunities opening up next week, I guess. Because, and also too, maybe because uh, Mercury is no longer retrograde. So perhaps there's options or opportunities that were stalled or now sort of, you know, coming out. But the, the Seven of Cups is very interesting energy. You just have to be careful with it because it can be very confusing in the that respect. Because sometimes the Seven of Cups can cause, um, you know, like cause your mind to spin. Like my head spinning with it. This is a lot of options, a lot of opportunities. I always say it's better to have more than none, right? But then it can cause a lot of confusion. So say, for example, you guys are on a, a dating site. There could be so many options, so many different people to choose from, and you are just sort of at a loss. You could be getting confused by it. 
But remember, there is kind of a warning with this energy is you have to go through it with a fine tooth comb. You can't casually just pick one of these options or opportunities because some of them are not going to be the best for you. If you notice in the card, I mean, some of these <laughs> things, there's beautiful jewels and a horseshoe and then others have like snakes in them. So you really, really have to go through these options and opportunities with a fine tooth comb. Make sure you really use that Pisces intuition to decide which one is the best for you. Because at this point with Jupiter now in your first house, you do not want to be going down any road that's going to take you any place that, you know, it's not going to be good for you. This is a time to choose wisely as you move forward in your new cycle. So go through these options and opportunities, whether they be new places to live, whether it be uh, career options, whether it be, you know, a new home, apartment, whatever, you really have to go through it with a fine tooth comb. Now the last card, or the, not the last card, but the, moving on to the next card, the six, or sorry, the nine of swords in the reverse position points to coming out of anxiety and sleepless nights. So perhaps, um, like the nine of swords in the upright position, this is where we're up in our head too much, or thoughts are ruminating, could be losing sleep over something, but now it's, it's, it's subsiding. So our anxieties could be uh, being put to rest. We could finally maybe get a good night's sleep. I was just thinking that perhaps what's happening at the beginning of the week, this passionate new uh, idea or option or something like that that comes up I think Pisces maybe opens up an avenue for you and you finally see where your way forward is and then that's why the anxiety is being lifted this is about now understanding your path and knowing where you need to go and now I don't have to worry about the practical aspects of things anymore. So I can finally put that to rest. That's what I feel like it is for some of you. And then the last card you have is the Two of Swords in Reverse. This is decision made. This is pointing back to the Ace of Swords in the Upright, which is a card that represents the sword. It's the sword of truth, the sword of clarity, the sword of information, the sword of uh, victory. So I feel that you make a decision, a firm decision by week's end. Some of you are heading somewhere, you're going somewhere, you're moving or you're moving towards your goals and your passion or you're moving towards a passionate relationship and you're no longer, you know, worrying about something anymore. Whatever was on your mind, Pisces, it's going to be alleviated. And at the end of the week, you're going to make a final decision about something. Again, interesting reading, um, very similar, I think, to your last week's reading. So similar energies. But like I said, maybe you guys are just waiting for the big reveal or the big spring up <laughs> in Pisces season. Right now, um, the sun is in your 12th house in Aquarius. So maybe it's just, you know, sort of the last quiet time before you spring out. But I have a feeling some of you are planning something. You're planning something big. And uh, I don't think you're really you know telling a lot of people what what's going on or what you want to do or what you're planning to do so please pisces if this resonated for you do leave a comment in the comment section below and let us know what's going on with you guys everybody loves pisces and we want to know what's happening with you <laughs> do tell us your story if it resonated for you that's what i have for you i really hope the reading helped you if it did please feel free to like share and subscribe and i will see you next week bye bye for now